I'll let you take me out. Good to go. My dashboard works. Hooray. It only took like a second try in the car. Did you get fuel? Yes, it is fueling. I don't care if it fuels my dash works. Hell yeah. That's Yay. all that matters. It, it is. Now I can see that it don't have fuel. Depending on how long you want to stay in the car hag, you can triple set tires with no problem. I have to see where we are in comparison to, uh... I don't know about that. I did not like the way those tires felt at the end of that second lap, or second stint. I, that's, ju that's just me, though. I, I didn't care for the way they felt. Yeah, that right front was getting down to 82. Yeah, me and Jeremy both triple scented. I almost quadruple scented them. I mean, I, I still felt pretty decent. Yeah. But I, I've never tested that, so I was like, ah, better not. But I almost tried, tried quadruple set. Yeah. God, cold track, cold tires just sucks. Why couldn't have I had the 120 degree track? We're under a lot happier. Hell no. almost a hundred when we started. It was miserable. <laughs> Barring nobody has a problem. Third place might be a stretch, but I think we can get fourth if we work at it. I 
I lifted on that first stint. I lifted at the 200 board in both chicanes at the cone going into the uh, Mulsanne corner and then lifted at about 175 to 150 going into Indianapolis before that little right hand kink. And I was still 0.6 a lap short for fuel. Yeah, so I, was, I, I was struggling, so I, dude. So I didn't even try to save fuel on the second stint. But I had a lot of traffic on the second stint. I mean, it took some serious effort to do 13. I think losing too much time on the track might as well take the pit stop the extra Okay, when we started the race, the humidity was 33%. It is now 82%. Jesus. So it's cold, but not that cold. Yeah, it was also 98 degrees when we started. Yeah. But no, like when the race first started, I could save fuel, no problem. Just, you know, lift early for two or three laps and I was fine. Yeah, I lifted early all but all but one lap on that first stint. And and, and couldn't make it was was point four short. But it's like the longer I drove or whatever the more I had to, to back off, you know? Yeah. It just got harder and harder to do. Those dudes in first place, their car in a straight line with no draft is four and a half to five mile an hour faster than ours. They're running they're running solo what we're running in a draft. Maybe even faster. Yeah. Because they're they have they have something on that setup that we don't have. They know something we don't know. That's for damn sure. probably running very similar to what everybody else is you know oh no yeah no doubt no doubt and, and i watched those guys for a couple of laps and and we're doing they're they're not doing anything different on the track than what we're doing they're breaking at the same places and everything they're just faster yeah they got the I car set up where it rolls probably a bit better through the corner so you can keep a bit more speed and if they're going a lot faster in a straight line. Our corner speeds are the same. I, I looked at that. Our corner speeds were the same. We're within one to two mile an hour in the corner speed. In a couple of corners, we were faster in. The uh, the hard right-hander after Indianapolis, we can, we're we carrying more speed through that corner. So I, I'm thinking that they've got way less downforce on their car. Yeah, I was thinking they're running a lot less wing myself. They just about have to be. What's up, Hattie? Or, I... or their rake is way different. 
I know that, that there's something you can do with this car as far as the ride height and the rake and all that. And and it'll be a, I, it'll be a lot faster because when we were messing with this car and had Gerald with Firestone or uh, Keystone. Uh, Keystone they were trying to make the car faster in a straight line and he found something with the rake and the ride height didn't have to take any downforce away from the car but it was four mile an hour faster so they figured that out and we did I wonder if it's something stupid like in NASCAR where you just put the nose up I don't know But yeah, they're they've they've done they figured it out and nobody else in this session did because they're three seconds a lap faster than anybody else. Yeah, if you if you gain a few mile an hour down the straight, there's a couple straights here where you easily can gain three seconds. Oh, no doubt. I mean their race pace is faster than my practice pace. Yes. considerably faster so what do we got about three weeks to work on a gt3 car now uh-huh the 11th and 12th i'm at least off saturday i gotta see if i can get sunday off that second day didn't get approved yet for me i would like to run the one that starts in the morning the the the, 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 the american time slot yeah I can stay up all night for that one, no problem. Yeah. God, I am slow in this weather. That's a crazy race, because there is always traffic around. Oh, definitely. Yes, Hattie, they do. They do have underbody arrows, so your ride height down the straightaway is super important. That's what you can run over them yellow sausage curves in the corner and, and have 30 seconds of damage on a pit stop from just running over that little bitty curve. Man, Western PA iRacing is flying. Rake is rather flat, Hattie. To tell you the truth. Right side. Yeah, I can. Clear, clear. Yeah, the rake is. It's like an inch, I think. No, it's like three. Uh, the front ride height is 1.72, and the rear ride height is 1.9. So yeah, it's just a. It's almost three quarters of an inch of rake. So there's almost no rake there. race is half over so it don't really matter now but no basically we had the vrs set up and then we made some tweaks to it to make it faster for us personally well, let's be honest it's probably the last time all of us are touching this car this is gonna get this is probably the last major event with it absolutely but yeah we, we changed a few things and got it more comfortable for us and a little faster too I mean, there's a, there's a handful of six-hour races I'd like to do, but 
beyond that is probably the last time I'll ever drive it. Yeah, I like the six hour races. Yeah, I'll just start uh, trying to do a few more with you guys. I know the next six hour spa. Leader pit road. And the same kind of cars as in this race, you know. Yeah. But uh, Spa, Daytona Road, the Nurburgring, Road Atlanta, and Sebring, I think. They're every other week. There's no way I'm making it on fuel. No, you're not making it. You can't save enough right now, so just abandon the fuel saving for right now because it's not working. I'm lifting and running, and <laughs> running 37s. I'm going to have to push because the Western PA iRacing is coming. What's going on with the guys ahead of us? They have really slowed down. Is that traffic or? I, I would say that seen. last lap is probably traffic. I think they've been maybe a second or so faster than that each lap. Cause there's a, they're the guys I need to push to try to catch. Although them in the uh, car ahead of them, they're about 10 seconds apart. So who knows, maybe they'll kill each other and we'll get third. Or uh, fourth. I'm not even sure how fast I was running. Uh, I don't even, I'm so tired. I know I was saving my ass off and I barely made it. Yeah, I, I think I've we were running 39s normal. and 40s. I've been lifting normal, and I'm at 10.13 per lap. Well, I set the fastest time, 34.8. Other than that, yeah, I was running pretty slow just to try and save enough gas. I don't think it was worth it. I really don't. No, I don't think it is. I mean, I guess it might be because you have to deduct the time on pit road as well as how long the actual stop takes, but it's, it's really close. Well, I want to be honest, to be able to make it, I would have to uh, dip down to like the 38s, 39s. That won't make it. I've already tried that. Fish said he can make it. Well, I was lifting like I normally would, and I was at 10.13. I started pushing a bit more. I'm using 0 0.05 more. It's like, okay, if I can go a second or so quicker. 
That, that last lap was a 35-8. I think those third and fourth, I think they're really saving fuel because their last lap, their last three or four laps have been in the 40s. You were five seconds faster that lap. Okay, let's clear. Like dude, like that wasn't a battle that wasn't a position like ahead of you. It's not like I'm interrupting a battle, just What are you pissing me for? I showed my move so early. Like, if the guy <laughs> ahead of him was for position, yes. That's not a great you move. Know, I, I don't have a... I just got opinion. question marked. They just sent me a question mark. I didn't almost hit him. When I saw we were going too wide, I backed out. But that's just one of those, like... Oh God. It wasn't for position. Why not just... Let me if you it? can't... If you can't... If you have only practiced driving this car around a track taking one line you're stupid you had better have been practicing taking this you know this corner right here all the way over to the right for instance it's just drive on the opposite side in the Porsche curves and everything it's just yeah that's just I mean you don't see those in, in you watch this race in real life those guys are are making passes everywhere on the track. They're not waiting for a straightaway. They damn sure better get used to that at Spa. Because you can't wait for straightaways to pass on that track. But like my thing is, is if an LMP is coming up on me, they show the inside, their mid car on car and corner entrance. Okay, I'm gonna lift a little bit and give it to them. Absolutely. Like I said, like when the car ahead of them is laps ahead of them, it's like no, I'm not interrupting a battle. Like a direct battle, which, okay, I can see. I'd be a little bit mad there. But it's like, no, the car ahead of you is not for position. I'm okay. I mean, I've made some questionable passes too, you know, pushing my luck. But that wasn't even pushing my luck. I didn't dive late. It's just. Oh, I know. I'm watching. The biggest thing you can do in these races is show your move early. There's no question of what you're doing. Oh, pushing PAR racing's in. I, I don't know if it's scheduled or not. I mean, sometimes you just get stuck behind them and gotta wait, but... Oh, yeah. But I'm not gonna slow down if I ain't got to. Absolutely not. Well, which car do we want to use for the spa race? I don't even care to tell you the truth. If I had to pick a preference, I would say the Merc or the Ferrari are my two favorites. The Audi, I could probably get around. I would say the Merc or the Out the Merc or the Ferrari would probably be better. I've got probably, all of the cars, so it really yeah. doesn't matter. It just, I don't want to touch the McLaren, and I want to be honest, I don't really like the BMW, to be honest. Uh, I'm more of a Ford for that matter. 
Yeah. I didn't, I didn't even think we were going to consider that. It used to be okay. I haven't driven any of them in a long time, but I used to like the Audi, but it's it can kill you on the curves if you ain't paying attention, so I don't know if they ever fix that or not. It's it's a lot better on the curves than it used to be. But uh it it takes it's hard to tune that car for an endurance race because right. if you hit the curb harder than I do it, it reacts it, completely different. Yes, it reacts completely different. I really think the more I'm thinking about it is I, re I really think that uh, we have we have the front of our car too low because I, I think it's just we got to try to we got to figure out where to put that front end to keep the cars so that as the back of the car loses fuel less weight back there it it comes more in line with the with the rake with the, the front of the car with this thing i really think it's rake that's got us slowed down right now the, there's no reason the, the, i mean those guys are five and a half six mile an hour faster than us on the straightaways faster than everybody like that on the straightaway they're killing us I know one of the guys, I don't, I don't know him, but I know one of the guys in P1 for TNT. Yeah. Is a, he's an old school HPD driver. I mean, this ain't his first rodeo. Yeah. <clears throat> he, has, he has had years to master that shit. Yeah, it's tough to beat tough to beat that. And he's got like a damn six thousand I rate too, so That's not what I wanna see. Oh, 
boy. <laughs> I'm so glad I got no sort of heads up from iRacing. Like, hey, there's a guy spun right in the middle of the track. Hag, this guy behind you is going to be super aggressive. It's P1 in front of you and P2 behind you. In the... I'm surprised he waited. Yeah, I'm a little surprised too because he looked like he was showing. I kind of cut kind him of off. I'm not yeah, yeah, he he did look like he was showing you. I did not want to go too wide through there. There's a couple corners that are just tight enough. It's just no. I think if I'm right, they have a, unless they blew a bunch of time, I think they have a lap lead on everyone, don't they? Oh boy, I'm making a move to the inside on a BMW. Am I going to get hit with a question mark? Yes, second place is a one lap down. So, but yeah, that was P1 and P2. Yeah, I know Big Bones winning overall. Cause I feel bad because their HPD team just had a big issue uh, near the end of your stint. should be we should be second place we had second place on lockdown ten and a half hours ago there was still a lot of time for shit to happen oh, how yeah. the race leader just had a big moment overall so give us some time Hey, that's how you take those corners. What time is it in the sim? Dark. Oh, 0418. <laughs> he said dark. 4.30 in the morning. Yeah, 4.18, 4.19. So there's still like two and a half or three hours of dark. Yeah. At least. Probably when I, if I do a triple, by the time I get out, it'll probably be getting close to sun coming up. Yeah, I think the guys ahead of us are fuel saving. Because I am chunking. I don't know whether that's the right call or work or bad call. Oops. Uh, have I mentioned I need to turn the lights on? <laughs> I 
I just got caught looking ahead of me and kind of feeling, oh yeah, I need to be off to the left hand side. Yep. That's fine. I honestly, I only lost about a half second, but even then, I'm only a tenth uh, slower than my best time. So I really didn't yeah. mess myself up too much there. No, you're good. Hag, are you going to be one and done? Or are you going to do two? Or what you I'm going to do, do at least two. All if, right. If well, my if shoulder will hold up, I'm going to try to triple stint. Okay. Uh, I want to see what the tires... I'm at least going to double stint. I want to see what the tires look like after this one to know whether a triple may be uh, an option. Because is it still cool? Yeah, it's 66 degrees. That dude has been complaining about people flashing lights the whole race. Oh, rip that guy. Yeah, some people get pissed when you flash the lights. I don't understand it. That's exactly what they're there for. When I'm in the car, depending on the situation, I'm one of those people. Although, when I'm in the car, I get pissed about anything, I'm not gonna lie. Should map that. Uh, flash button to uh, accelerator <laughs> or the H pattern like we did back in the day. Yeah, yep. I still remember Air that Messi fucking so doing funny. that for Daytona. That yeah, was so fucking funny. 44 hours of Air Messi flashing his lights around Daytona. Pe people would be so pissed off. <laughs> it's such an asshole thing to do. It is, but it's funny as hell. Hey, guess we remember this turn access to this lap. That's right. On your right, corner, clear. All right, well, if you're gonna do another one, I'm gonna run in here and fix me some breakfast right quick. Um, I'll be listening, I'm just gonna mute my mic on my headset so that you guys don't hear all that all that shit but if you okay. need something just say something that's okay I don't think we want to listen to you cook our cook your breakfast like Martha Stewart what's up guys hi Jeremy what's up man Car feels really good overall. God, yeah, the guys ahead of us have to be major fuel saving. I'm still five seconds a lap faster. Wow, both of them. I just hope it doesn't come back and bite us in the ass. I'm. I wouldn't mind getting in and saving us three laps on fuel on a triple stint in these conditions. Problem is, these conditions, you have to run like 40s. I was I lifting so. like normal. I was lifting like normal and I was still 0.1 over. 
any t any time you've seen from me, even in these conditions, come. I've I've only practiced school saving. I don't expect it to warm up anytime soon. It's even warm. Like, just because sunrise happens, it's not going to really warm up until uh, the sun's hitting the track. sure I can run like 36s, 37s without wall fuel saving right now. Hack was 300s slower than my fastest time. Yeah, and I lost it in the uh, last corners. That foot last four chicane is where I uh, lost the best lap. See, I was I was struggling to save fuel, and I know it slowed me down. But you know, I, I never try. But I think in the back of my mind, if I just run wide open, I could make up the time difference. I'm one of those like, if you're not gonna make it, just go. Use all the fuel you can. No sense That's saving if you still can't make it, but That's, if, if you can't make it, that's true. You, you should burn everything. Otherwise, you're just bringing good fuel back into the pits with you. But yeah, I tried to fuel save and it. I was not going to make it. So I, I just went because I was lifting at the I was doing like the same thing I was doing during the day and I was way to the good. Where I was lifting at the hundred, uh, lifting at the two hundred boards, coasting. I was even lifting more right, elsewhere, and it just. Yeah, the fuel saving wasn't working for me. I was still going to be point four to the bad, and Mine I had wasn't lifted, that bad. I was. I, I had I had lifted the whole stint at the two hundred boards oh, and yeah. at the cones. So yeah, it, it just it wasn't happening. So I just decided, fuck it. If I can't do it, I'm just going to drive the shit out of it. And then I had traffic every fucking lap. Didn't get, didn't really get to do that. <laughs> yeah, they're really peppered out. That is one of the hard things. You don't really get too many clean laps. I've had a few in a row, actually. Yeah, 35, 35, 34. Yeah. And this lap's still on pace to be a 35, if not maybe really low 36. But right now, I'm a 10.18 uh, is what I'm at for fuel. All right, I'm gonna start going through everybody's strategy and see where we're at.
Alright, P4 is definitely doing 12 laps. They've been slow too. Is it just a driver? Because they've been in 40s. Yeah, it's he's consistent 40s. He's 40. This last stint, or this current stint, 41, four, like a high 40, low 41, high 41. He's probably trying to save and just can't quite do it. It's the same driver that just went 12 as well. And he was he was running like his best lap is a high 38 in his prior stint. Oh, maybe his in uh, his his last uh, flyer was a 30 uh, a 38 three. He's just I don't think he has the pace. They could be damaged too. I mean, if if they're losing a, a mile an hour or two on the straights from something. All I know is I'm a little bit close on this one. I, I'm going to make it, but fuel's going to be a little bit closer than I probably wanted it to be. Are you going to go 13? No, I, I'm pinning this lap. I don't know if it's my 13th lap or 12th lap. I have no idea, but I have to piss. Well, let's only run out of fuel once, so let's do that. Yeah. Yeah, but we've already done that. <clears throat> I've been li I've been lifting and saving some extra fuel. Matter of fact, I will sputter it on pit road. I almost run out of gas. <laughs> you were close. <laughs> Mine, I I feel that's what this is going to be. I've clutched and saved. Ah. Uh, a few right, times I feel around like, here. I think P4 might have some some undercarriage damage. Uh, P3's in the pits. Uh, can someone uncheck tires? I'm not in the sim. Hold on one second. Uh, I think I got all but one. You, you're unchecked. All of them. All four. And fuels checked. Yeah, I think you were already gone, Jeremy, in the middle of the night. I bumped the tires up a half a pound. Yeah, you talked about it before I left, but uh, yeah. yeah. As you can see, Hag's dashboard, they're still not quite at 23. Oh, I had a half pound remaining. I'm good. <laughs> so if nothing else, I maximized my fuel there. Yeah. I, need the to I need to save a bit to make sure I don't. Just so, so you know, the car cuts off at point three. Oh, how's that point four? Mm -hmm. Well, it'll, it'll, yeah, it'll sputter a little bit at point three. Yeah, that chili racing team, they are struggling. What are my tires like? I think you oh, went man, 13 laps there. Ooh, I may be able to triple these. Go, 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 yeah, you go, should go, be go. able to. I think you went 13 Never there. Me. Really? I didn't save much. Well, you saved just enough. <laughs> I did like I did during the day, but it was showing like I was at like point, uh, 10.13 there and I forgot to reset my Q2. God damn it. If you didn't attempt to save, there's no way in hell you ran 13 laps. I saved for a few, but maybe I mean, I'm just better in, at fuel saving. He came in at 209 on lap 209. I have a 345, which has to be his in lap and then I got a no time on lap 210 which should be his out lap with the pit and then 339 for his first lap and 37 and lower pretty much after that and that's 13 laps from from lap 210 to 222 wow so just I mean maybe try to save a little bit more like just so you're you're not quite as close um, on your first several laps 
when you've got the heaviest fuel amount, because you're going to burn the most with the heavy fuel load. Maybe it's just a couple corners I tend to coast a bit more through. I know Indy, I'm off throttle quite a bit after the kink. Like that's a brake lift, brake, brake, lift kind of. Yeah, so the guy that's driving for P4 right now, he had slow times. He started the race for them, and he was slow all the way through the beginning of that race for them. Is it Baron or somebody else? No, Manuel. So yeah, he ran, he actually stayed in for the longest, uh, he stayed, he, he ran the first 52 laps for them, came in on 53, I guess, and then he's been out since, and now he's back in and he's running those slow times again, so that's just, that's just his pace. That's the good thing about us, is we're all close enough that we don't have that drastic, oh, we're gonna lose a bunch of time here, but have to try to gain it back with everyone else. We're all close enough that... That just doesn't happen. We're all pretty consistent with each other. God, that Ferrari I passed is destroyed. Yeah, he's been like that since like the first hour of the race. He wasn't that bad. But he's been putt putting around for a long damn time. Four forty nine ahead of me. gonna catch P4 on uh, on pit stops and your pace is also gonna close that gap quite a bit. We're catching P3 too. Yeah I'm about to start looking at the P3. Because they're stuff. they're about 15 20 seconds up the road from P4. So P4 is gonna take more pace than pit because of uh, their strategy they they just came in on, on the same lap as you did so it's one of those just keep trying to get 13 and outpace them while doing it and so three is where we're going to make up that that pit stop 
Yeah, I'll get you some more information on free here in just a second. <sighs> I'm gonna have to take a little nap, otherwise I'm gonna be worthless in the car. I ain't I was gonna just gonna tell you, man, go to bed. I don't want your cranky ass bothering us later, so go get some rest so you're in a good mood. <laughs> Alright, I'm all set. Let's see. There's three of us here, dude. Take as long as you need. There's still ten hours left in the race. If you wanna if you wanna leave for six hours, you're alright. Don't worry about it. Alright, I'll set an alarm for like four hours from now. We'll see what happens. Cool. But, yeah, I won't go lay on the bed, so I'll see y'all later. Alright. Later, buddy. Alright. Definitely doing well lap. He's gonna come in at a pit stop for in about three three more lap. He's running forty ones a lot. I don't know if that's traffic related. He just did run, do a thirty nine. I think he might, well, no, hold on, let me go find his other laps, too. No, again, he's just one of their, he's just their slowest driver. That's all there is to it. Every time he's in the car, they're running slower laps. And he's not safe. Speaking of saving fuel, keep an eye out when I hit the line. See how I'm doing. Now, I've had a couple pretty slow laps, so. And even then, catching that Ford GT there, I'm a bit off. Just eyeballing it where you're at right now, which is a weird spot on the track to look. Uh, Probably pretty good. I'll see what you're at at the end of the Molson. I feel just really slow though. Like my tires are up to temp, so I can't even blame that. The weird thing is, is, like, it wasn't like my tires were worn. My worst percentage was 90, 90 on my left rear. The tires are still okay. Yeah, you're good on fuels for now. Um... If we can make up somewhere in the ballpark of 15 to 30 seconds on P3, we will catch them on the fuel strategy um, in, a, in a few, I don't know, three or four stints. We'll, we'll come back even with them on the fuel, like number of, uh, or when we pit, but we'll be short one pit stop compared to them. Are we a lap down to P2? Yeah. So we're a lap and a half down to P2. Alright, so P1, he could get out and run at this point and probably beat us. Um, P2, we need him to have a major issue to catch him. But I think P3 is doable. Man, this car is a bit snappy right now. That's what was. That's what it was doing to me. 
on the second stint with tires, it would get a little bit tail happy. Was that uh, after whatever contact it was that had the longer made us have the longer pit stop? No, nah, no, before. Yeah, it was it was doing that before then. Even Daniel mentioned that it would get a little bit tail happy in a in a weird spot during the second stint. Yeah, I'm gonna bump the TC up. Is uh, could that be related at all to the tire pressure changes? Could be. I don't know because the pressures themselves, my highest pressure is 23.3. Everything else is 20. Everything else is even. I mean, that's the only thing that's changed on the car. Well, this thing yeah. I feel has been loosened up since I got hit. After that, the car just felt a bit looser than normal. So. I know. So, but after you went to bed. And uh, and I was running on it. I mean, it, that sucker was on rails yeah. when I was running in the cold. I mean, I, it wasn't 66 though; it was just like 70. Yeah, it didn't ever feel like it was on rails to me. And and the only thing I can attribute it to is the the tire pressure. Do you mind if I knock them back down for the next pit stop? Or when the next I get, time we when, take when, I know that when I get back in the car, I'm not. I'm gonna have them knocked down. But it don't matter to me whenever I get back in the car. I don't care. I'm around all day. P2's in the pits. What's going on there? I'll check it out. Yeah, that doesn't make sense because uh, he just came in. Yeah, that's stop 19 for them. I feel horrible for saying this, but please tell me they got hit. I'm checking. Hey, we got hit and other problems. back out they may have just did a driver swap because I, I know that uh, I, I don't remember which team it was they did a pit stop and then about three seconds or three laps later they were back in the pits and they did a driver swap yeah no, no driver swap on this one still the same name in it no clue may have got on one of the curbs and damaged the underside of the car <clears throat> because if you do that early in your early in your stint you're going to end up losing more time staying out than you would if you would pit and fix it right away yeah so it could be something like that I'm gonna check his his speed at the end of the first section of the Molson here. Yeah, probably should should be probably around 192 to 194. I don't know. He's 195. He was he kissed 196 before he slowed down. So it ain't straight line okay. speed that he was. I'm not sure about that one. That's weird. We'll take it. Oh, yeah. Free <clears throat> minute. Yeah. Take a few more of them. Yeah, we need, we need several more of those free minutes. That's probably, if they had, oh, that was, he actually, he actually kind of messed it up coming into the pits. Uh, he didn't hit anything. It was just it was mean to a cone. I think better. I wonder if they took a penalty, uh, a speeding penalty, to come back that's in. That's possible. Possible. Yep, that's very possible. I 
push it as long as they could before they were going to get disqualified so they yeah. could get as much, as much fuel in the car as possible. I, I think it's like three laps. Yeah, that makes three sense laps. Then. Let me see if we look stupid coming into the pits before that. Had to be going out where he got his penalty at because if it yeah. was coming in, it would it would have held him then. Yeah, good point. Probably just unchecked his thing a second too early. Yeah. We're still chunking the guy had. Good deal. Actually, that may have been a scheduled stop. I, so what I, you know, sometimes the dashes come up when they uh, in their in yep. their time, um, but that doesn't it doesn't look like he actually was pitting on those dashes. It just kind of tricked the system. Okay. It shows him the 19 stops. So either they were one ahead of us anyway. That's very possible. I think they've only been doing 12 laps the whole time. So we should have jumped them on a pit stop by one already. Yeah, you're not feeling nearly as fast as second run. I say we, uh, I'd like to get into the car next just so I can have the cool attempts to and save fuel doing it. Yeah, speaking of fuel, check mine on the. Although I think I'm good because I've seen my average drop this run. Just because I'm running a bit slower on the older tires. On your right. Awesome. And you're running that traction control at 8. Just because I'm going to be honest, I don't trust these tires. It's just loose enough that, uh... I bumped mine up to eight on the second stint. I'm probably losing a bit of time just off that, but... Yeah. I'm running, I'm running consistent 36s. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, I feel good, really good about where you're at on fuel right now. How far to the good am I? I'll have to well, tell you, you know on, the line. at the line, but right. I'm gonna say you're at, you're at least like a pound and a half to the good. Shit, not as much as I wanted to be. I was hoping I could push. I'll, I, I'm just saying at least. So let me uh, let me right. look here. Come on, LP. Still there. You're clear, clear. I gave him the line. Well, the good line becomes the bad line if he doesn't make the damn pass, right? I figured that car would be so much faster. I give him the inside there. I'm good. Right, 
get your fuel at the line, and then I need to. I want to check on uh, P6. They're faster than we're us. Way off. But they're off sequence big time. Yeah, that Kenny's been running really good for him. So this gives you an idea of where you are compared to P4 here. When we check, when we go over, when we jump them on pit stops. All right. Apparently that's the first gear corner. <laughs> All right, so you're. At, I, I had you like right at seventy-one point nine at the line. So. It's. It's not. It's not. Uh, you're. You're still good. It's just. Uh, it's not like a lot of breathing room, I'd say. Okay. Is so it just continue to lift? I would. I wouldn't want to set you loose now because I think if you you could definitely burn too much at this point. Like if you wanted to be a little bit more aggressive in Indianapolis and maybe turn I don't one. Say, I don't. I don't say fuel there. The okay, only well, parts I say fuel is this backstretch. Okay, well then we'll give that up. Indy, Indy's a rolling corner for me anyway. How I normally take it, it's just I'm off throttle quite a bit. There's a lot of coasting for me in between the kink and the uh, braking zone for Indy itself. It's just for me, my pace is slowed down just from tires. Yeah, I, I wouldn't worry about your pace. If you're running 36s... No, but that's really why good. I think I'm all right on fuel. It's just I'm physically burning a little bit less fuel because I'm not running as fast. Yeah, that's fine. I just can't are have you, any more of those 39s. Are you done after this stint then? Ask me again in like six laps. <laughs> I'll see how my shoulder feels. All right. Well, if we're going to... If you're going to drive or swap... We should do it when we're switching tires. So, if, my, yeah. my question, my question is going to be about if you want to triple stint those tires, or if you're ready to get out after the double stint, so I can get in while we're switching the tires. Side. And I plan on running a triple stint on tires. I'm going to lower those uh, air pressures, and I think I can make up those three laps on on that triple stint. have to do is just hit yeah just hit three thirteens which it's not as hard as I thought if I made 13 that first time I should be good Jonesy just got a lead foot over there man I am always terrible at saving fuel it doesn't matter what car it is <clears throat> I would bet if we look at your I, uh, your your telemetry I bet you have a lot of crossover between your brake and your throttle Oh, I do. Jones just doesn't care about the environment. That's I right. do. Like right here at Indian, at this right-hand corner he just took? Yeah. On that apex, I'm on the brake and on the gas right there. Same thing. I'm on the gas while I'm on the brake in Indianapolis. Oh, okay. I, well, that, and, would, that would do well, it. Then, I mean, yeah, I, I'm on the solved. brake and on the gas in a lot of places. But that's how I keep the car settled down. Remember, like the skippy. Yes. Okay, well, let me. Yeah, we figured it out. That's that's where you're losing I'm, your fuel. I'm Jones terrible. never takes his foot off the throttle. So that's I don't, what I've learned today. I've Jones. usually always got about a five percent throttle. Even going into the uh, the like uh, Moson corner, I'm I'm always on I'm on the throttle through that whole corner. I feel like you have your truck just running in the driveway right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. I drive a company truck right now. I, I'll never buy another one. One on the right side. Clear. Cutting a little close on fuel, I'd say right now. I could go outside. I've been to the saving too. I could go out and uh, start my car if it would make you feel better. Let it run for a while. Yeah, just, <laughs> just, just fuck the environment. 
Fuck him. Alright, hopefully P7 behind us leaves us alone since they're a lap behind at least. What are they running lap time oh, that's, wise? That's Big Bone, huh? Yeah. Couple of them are fast, and I can't remember if Corey was it. But if they're running a lot faster, let me know. I'll get behind him and save that way. Corey's running 37s at best. Okay, so he's about the same pace as me then. You're Not this lap, but normal. No, you've got at least a half a second on him usually. So you notice you're P4 right now, right? Yeah, because someone ahead of us pitted. Yeah, and they pitted for for uh, 123 seconds as well, Coming so here, two minutes. Oh yeah, but what happened? I'm not probably sure, a, but probably a, a curb strike on the underside of the car. But we're six laps ahead of them on fuel strategy. So if you're going to get us a couple, and then. You'll get us one more. Sound if if we can save. Other, I mean, if you don't, it's not a big deal. And I'll go in and get us three more. That's nine um, or ten if you get us one. And so we're that's then we're three laps away from from a full jump. So that's that's almost. I mean, this is basically position if we keep going out like this. And that's with us catching Chili Racing Team too. Yeah, and now they are on the same pit stop as we are. Do you have a pit count for them that you can see without wrecking it? Uh, they're at like 19, I think. Is that one more than us? Uh, ask me again when I'm not in the corner, I'm going to die in. Nope, that's, that's fine. And also, I, can just, I can just go count their laps. That's, that's fine. Just let me go. What happened? Ow, I scraped the wall a bit. I'll go look at Chile myself. We go just count their laps last couple of stints. Did you get an X for it or just zero? It was zero, but I'm pretty sure I just bent aside a bit. We'll see the straight line speed here in a bit. I did the same exact thing I think Jones did. I just went, it was completely door first. It wasn't horrible, but. Yeah, just. Flat, the whole side of the car, just boom. That was it, just barely touched. Did the same thing in the same spot. It's just one of those the car pushes there, and with it getting uh -huh. light a bit, it's. Yep, and you try to catch it. And well, I didn't even try to go. catch it, it just kind of just slid a bit. It wasn't like a wobble, it just kind of drifted, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah, we are, we've already made up one lap against uh -oh. Chili Racing, the P3 car on, uh, on pit strategy. And so we're we're gonna be we're gonna be working on our uh, our next our next uh, fuel or our our next uh, jump on them starting this step. Fuck. You're fine. Just keep going. Yep. This is where the tires really just start to suck because you start getting light coming over that uh -huh. crest, which pushes you wide. Which gets you in danger of just clipping the grass like that, just trying to make the corner. God damn it! This thing was one of, was absolutely my best until this last fucking lap. I'm going down on the. Uh, I'm going put back down a half pound on all the tire. I think that's probably the best thing to do. That some bitch was on rails when I was in it last. I don't think I heard it because I think I hit 192 going into this corner. Yeah, I was just about to ask, did your delta look fine in the straights? Uh, it, it was going to be fucked anyway from just the jank injury. I'll know. You I'll should know be at, up. when you start breaking up there, you should be at about 187 to 186 for most on corner. Yeah, I hit 187 at the cone. You're good. You're good. You're good. You just gave the car a little character, that's all. 
I shortened it up. Yeah, you made it narrower. Yes. Narrower. It's more aerodynamic. You're welcome. Hey, and like I keep saying, we flipped this bitch at Spa and made it faster. I made it this faster. Car's yep. a, this car's a little bit weird. But you, you hit a sausage curve just a little bit. And you're, hey, you you're screw done. the whole side's yeah. done. But Three if you miss a corner and use a rough as a brake and flip the car, I think some of that is we had damage it wouldn't fix until we completely broke the car and then it fixed it. Yeah, I that's think that was a big a problem. But at least it used to be on the way the damage went over. Yeah, yeah, that used to be a thing. I don't know that it still is, but I know it used to be. But yeah, that, that's exactly why we got faster. It's because it actually fixed some of the damage it wouldn't beforehand. So, Hag, I, I'm, I don't think you've done much NASCAR in the last uh, build, have you? No. So, you know, they came out with a new damage model on it, and then they killed it after a week, yeah. after week 13. So, <laughs> I would, I did my, the NIS race, and uh, and I had some damage because, you know, morons, and uh, my front end was messed up. They fixed my front end as I'm driving off, and like, I got all my repairs, and I'm, I'm driving off pit road. The whole front end uh, fiberglass comes off, and, <laughs> and I run and I run over my own front end as I'm leaving pit road. Wow! And that's exactly they why they rolled the out. Yeah, <laughs> that's why they. I think that's why they rolled it back. I think he is on your ass in there. He's uh, I he's pissed because I went. <laughs> he held me up so much. I went wide through the kink, and then I kind of didn't have a great entrance because I clipped the curb and got loose. He'll get over it. He will get over it. If, At least I didn't get hit with a question mark like I did before. If you're scared to be passed in a corner on this track, you haven't done enough practice running off off the, the main racing line. If you don't know how to put your car in this in, in a corner that's not on the racing line, you haven't done enough laps. You haven't done enough practice. You're going to be at 40 pounds like right now, probably. Yep. There's just a couple corners that just aren't good, whether it's the camber on them or what. There's just a lot of stuff that's like, it's not a good option. Yeah. I hope Graham knows that's not a, that it was a friendly flash. He hosted me a couple days ago, so. Yeah, you're going to be super close on fuel, I think. I was last time, too. Let me know at the line, because I'll start really lifting. Yeah, that's what no. I was going to say. We can probably make up for it. You're going to burn less, like I keep saying, with the lighter fuel load. So it's going to be easy. You're going to you're gonna be closer just naturally. And I'm... You can call it off if you want to take another stint on these tires, but otherwise I'm planning on getting in the car. Yeah, I don't like the I don't like the way this car's handling right now with it. I've had enough I slides did, too. I did not like the car at the end of a double stint of tires. Okay, I did I'm not gonna, like it. I'm gonna. I've already lowered the t the uh, the air pressures back to normal. Because it's always the last couple laps too, is where it just starts locking up. That's really where I start struggling is cut the last couple laps. All right, Hag, you're leading the way on uh, incident points. Don't remind me. I've had the most mental errors, I think, out of everyone. I'm running fast, but I'm just making a couple mistakes. Well, I think you can give give uh, that crown to me and Daniel when uh, we did hit. No, I've, dude, I've, I've spun twice. That was a 4 a.m. mental mistake. That trust me, it's gonna happen. So, I was begging Daniel because I, you know, I don't know if you've noticed if you if this happens to you, but I'll go. You know, it's only I've got nine laps to go in the stint, but I realized I hadn't even thought about fuel for three laps. Yeah. 
So I told I told Daniel like, hey, dude, let me know where I'm, I'm at. Gonna, I'm uh, yeah, you're you're 31 and a half probably right there as you pass the pit entry. Let's see what you're at at the line. You're gonna be like at 31, I'm third to three. The so I'm a pound to the good. Yeah. So uh, keep doing what you're doing, and you're fine. You saved more fuel these last couple laps, I think, than the one before that. Well, I've been way off pace the last couple laps. But so, yeah, All you I gotta told... do is spin out to save fuel. Who would have thought that? You're welcome. I told Daniel, <laughs> I told Daniel to, uh, I was like, hey man, I'm gonna need help here in two laps. You've gotta tell me, like, you've gotta make sure I know to, I remember to pit. And then all of a sudden, him and I got all caught up, and there was a, I was right behind a really slow GT car in the Porsche curves, and there was a, a really low rated L LMP1 behind us. And so I was just completely focused on oh, not sorry, getting Matt. run over. Hi. I, I, sorry, I just saw a chat. I've been focusing on... So, sorry, Matt. Hi, what, thank you for tuning in. Is he in this race? Or, no, or in the I don't other think race? Merck's in here. I've got your uh, stream up on my fourth monitor. I've got a chat off on my left-hand side, but I haven't been looking at it whatsoever. I've been a horrible streamer. The C. Jones, that's how you say a fuel. It's not that hard. Just every once in a while, clip it, spin it, almost die, and you're good. You got the extra lap. Easy. Dude, I could probably go 50 laps on some fuel, around, on a tank of fuel, if, if I did that. <laughs> Just have a giant moment every once in a while. Get a couple of incident points, and you save fuel. I think my next stint, what I'll do is I'll try to, to uh, I'll go down to fuel setting six or seven and see if, uh, see if that'll help me get 13 laps. Am I on pace too? Still? You're doing good. You're, you're excellent. Yeah. The fact, the fact that you, the, and I, I've seen a lot of people do it, use the throttle to keep the car under control. That's, uh -huh. that's the only reason why I'm making it is because I'm not. I'm very. I'm either on the brake, coasting, or on the gas. No, it's not rare. Me. I'm both. I, if I try to, if I try to take those corners like that, I, I'm dead. I, I just, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> that's probably why I'm like, struggling. Like right here, at that apex, I've got about five or six percent throttle when I turn the wheel left just to help with and and trail braking and and it, dude, the car just feels so much better right there yeah but if i take my if i take my foot off the throttle my trail braking ends up being too much and i over slow for the corner so that's just what i do to compensate for that that was one of the places i made a major mistake in and almost killed the car laps to go good job saving the fuel I know it's less fun no no it's what needs to be done me having fun is gonna get the car killed let's be honest it's more fun to have a car that survives not be the one who wrecks the car I practice so much with it. I'm I'm pretty certain I'm actually faster over the stint by fuel saving just because I'm more consistent in the current in the turn. Oh god! All right, be careful. Of these uh, older tires on uh, too much pressure. Just bring it home. That was not a corner, it was getting loose on. But as soon as I lifted a bit to get the nose turned in, it just wiggles. Well, I'm really hoping the, uh, the tire pressures will help with that. Right. Corner. 
Man, if I didn't have my spin, we'd be back under a minute on those guys. Ahead. All good, man. Don't worry about that. All you can, all you can, all you can do now, and, and actually at any point, is just drive the car. The time, the gap. All that will take care of itself. Just drive the car. Much I really wanted to pass that guy a bit earlier. Big bone right pit in this lap. No, they're gonna be it. Yeah, you can, uh, you've got plenty of fuel here. That's got to be a slowdown. It was awful close. Left side. No bear. Clear. Wow, he lifted. to go. Tip four. Got a tire. It's back to original pressures. Check. Fuel's checked and I'll make sure they stay checked. As you come into the pool. This is going to be my first good lap in a while. I think we're actually pulling away from the guys behind us too.
three just went into the pits. So I think they went 13 that, that stint. It's just what you did, I believe. Yeah, we're on the same strategy as them. They're the team that we're going to have to be by pace, not by strategy. Yeah, he's pretty slow. I don't know if he's staying in the car or not. We'll find him. All right, box, box, box. Not a bad entry lap. He's up. One last little wiggle with it. Yeah, I realized I was four mile an hour over. Drew coming through with the link when I don't have time to do it. Four Appreciate seconds it, buddy. of optional. All right. It's all yours. It is fueling. I hit the car. Go, go, go. 